Obviously, I'm very excited. As a neurosurgeon, um, there's nothing uh, more enticing than to think about the prospect for repair of the brain or repair of the spinal cord. And uh, cellular transplantation offers that particular promise, if you will. I think it's important that we not overstate uh, what we expect to accomplish in these early stages of development. But at the same time, we are beginning to develop the field. Uh, that carries with it, I think, uh, a big burden of responsibility. Uh, but it also carries with it uh, a great sense of excitement uh, that we're going to be testing something that has shown um, evidence in animal studies that it might work in humans. And when you make the transition from animal studies into human testing, obviously it's very important to show safety. But now that we're beginning to have safety data with the trials that we're conducting, we can begin to ask the more complex questions of whether we're producing a benefit. And for patients who have no curative therapies available to them, for patients who have no treatments available to them, and who in many cases are facing a lifetime of the disease, the potential that cell therapy offers, the potential that neural stem cell transplantation offers um, to affect some type of positive change in their clinical status is really something that as a neurosurgeon I find terribly exciting.